when out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Every Who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. Nestled, all snug in their beds, away to the window I flew in a flash and tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. The Grinch hated Christmas, the whole Christmas season. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all, flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, staring down from his cave with a sour, grinchy frown, at the warm lighted windows below in the town. Well, visions of sugar plums danced in their heads, and Mama and her kerchief and I and my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. But a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. It could be perhaps his shoes were too tight. The prancing and pawing of each little hoof. But the Grinch, who lived just north of Whoville, did not. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. Please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be his head wasn't screwed on just right. For he knew every who down in Whoville beneath was busy now, hanging a mistletoe wreath. But whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve, hating the who's. Then he growled with his Grinch figures nervously drumming, I must find some way to stop Christmas from coming. Who was not more than two, they'd stand hand in hand, and the Who's would start singing. He loaded some bags and some old empty sacks on a ramshackle sleigh, and he hitched up old Max. And they're hanging their stockings, he snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas, it's practically here. The noise, 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 noise. And the more the Grinch thought of the Who Christmas sing, the more the Grinch thought, I must stop this whole thing. And they'd feast, and they'd feast, and they'd feast, 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 feast. Then the Grinch said, get up. And the sleigh started down toward the homes where the Who's lay a snooze in their town. All their windows were dark. Quiet snow filled the air. Then the Who's, young and old, would sit down to a feast. Cupid on Donder and Blitzen, the Grinch. He got stuck only once for a moment or two. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace flue, which was something the Grinch couldn't stand in the least. And what to my wondering eyes should appear? Then he heard a small sound, like the coo of a dove. He turned around fast, and he saw a small coo little Cindy Lou Who. And then they'd do something he liked least of all. Every Who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. They'd sing and they'd sing. Oh, and they'd sing, 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 sing. 